So, hey, hey everybody. Um, mm -hmm. This talk, about yeah. talk is about um, mm -hmm. how I think people, developers, should approach WordPress development and maybe the common uh, pain points that, that you people usually, usually have trying to, to figure that out. <sighs> WordPress is one of the most dreaded platforms and languages out there, at least according to the uh, Stack Overflow um, developer survey last year. Um, it was only second to Visual Basic. Um, I, I'm, I'm not sure that you should figure uh, look at the numbers there because it's just a survey for, for Stack Overflow developers, but uh, the position of, of WordPress on that list is, is alarming. And also, uh, LAMP is also mentioned on the, uh, the sixth place there. So WordPress is actually doing worse than your average um, LAMP uh, platform. This is, I think, a problem um, because hate is unhealthy. <laughs> um, if people who do WordPress development don't like it, um, they uh, they can't love what they do and like what they then produce. It can't be really good. Um, they might even start developing like mental issues or spread the negativity among their colleagues. Um, so, for a like a platform, at least long term, it can be become a huge problem. Um, I was trying to figure out like why do we hate WordPress so much? Uh, maybe not people here, but in general, developers. Why do they hate that? Um, I couldn't, couldn't figure out what was the main reason, and but it could be like WordPress core code is is bad, or the plugins are 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 not very good, or it, um, it could be a number of things. But I don't I don't know if we need to actually figure that out. The reason, because I think there's a universal cure for hate. And I think it's understanding. Um, if you understand, for example, cultures or, or technologies, anything really, um, you start to appreciate them. Um, so this is why, for example, racism is, uh, exists. Um, people don't understand other people. So we need to start understanding WordPress. Um, we can try to solve that in the community level or try to work our way up from, from individual level, um, which is what I'm trying to do is here. Um, this is one of the most common misconceptions about WordPress uh, still to this day. Maybe not so much that it used to be, but it's still something I hear all the time is that WordPress core code is horrible, horribly buggy, especially, and insecure. Um, WordPress has existed 15 years, maybe even more, I'm not sure. Um, during that time, a lot of the bugs, even the, the most obscure ones, have been, have been fixed. Um, uh, of course, every software still has bugs, but um, WordPress is, is way better on that front uh, compared to a lot of software out there. And the insecurity is, is more about how WordPress reacts when there is a uh, security issue, because you can't really avoid those altogether. And we are doing very good on that front, because um, security is a process, right? Um, well, OK, the core code could that's that's ugly. Um, it is partly true, uh, but it also depends on like how you view what is what is uh, beautiful. <laughs> um, the other way to look at it is that uh, WordPress core code is actually relatively easy to understand, to follow, also to modify through the Hooks API, even for uh, relatively unskilled developers, uh, so they can get started very easily. And that is one of the strengths of WordPress, which is a, is, is a thing that we should celebrate and not focus on like what the internals are. Also related to that backwards, backwards compatibility is, is that, uh, or the, the 
code quality is the backwards compatibility, and we can't really change much uh, on the word in the WordPress core without breaking backwards compatibility. Um, so instead of focusing um, the code is bad, uh, we can focus on on the, the the good thing about it, which is that that you can trust that when you update WordPress, it's it it pretty much keeps working, um, and that you as a developer you don't have to worry about that that much. Of course, you have to test and and such, but instead of of doing this unmeaning very meaningless work of 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 making sure everything works every time you have to update, uh, you can minimize that. Uh, so that that is a plus. But th this uh, mi uh, con conception is actually uh, oftentimes true. Um, a lot of WordPress sites are very insecure, and that is probably due to the fact that we have a lot of WordPress developers uh, with varying skill levels. Um, I don't know how many, like hundreds of thousands of WordPress developers easily, um, and they use a lot of different types of plugins and, and themes, and which could be, which could also be very insecure. I don't have an answer to this, but uh, like, how would we solve it other than just ed keep educating people? Um, installing a security plugin uh, will not help, though. <laughs> One of the things I've learned is that uh, most plugins are actually really bad, and and one should avoid using plugins if if you can. Um, you can do that by stop using them altogether and like code everything. Uh, that's not very practical, of course, but you can do that small scale. Like uh, maybe you uh, create custom post types and 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 you use a plugin for that. Um, you can learn pretty easily learn how you can do that in code and then take responsibility of, of, of those lines or under thi other things you can um, from that stack overflow for example you can get a lot of lot of easy solutions um, code based solutions um, but then you have to remember that you you are responsible for those lines of code instead if you use like big plugins that do hundreds of things um, and you only need a few. Uh, that makes your site harder to maintain long term, and and also you create uh, more. Probably you have more vulnerabilities in in the, sec in the security sense, um, and so you have to like consider the the l long term cost of of using a plugin versus versus. Um, of your, with your own code. Uh, when you write code, make sure it's, or I think it's preferable to, to write it like WordPress core code is, is written, which is was basically built by self-taught developers. Um, like I mentioned before, pretty, pretty uh, simple, not a lot of abstractions. Um, it is way easier to modify that type of code that, that if it's like simplest, the simplest thing that could possibly work. Maybe it's it's you in the future that will make the modifications, and you don't remember two years from now that what, what did you write. So if you've made it made it simple enough, it's it's way easier. Specifically, if you have classical um, uh, computer science training, you you might had this some sort of religion that, that everything needs to be object-oriented object and you have to model things with interfaces and, and, and a lot of abstractions. Uh, that's rarely necessary. If we are talking about regular WordPress websites, uh, they are relatively uncomplex things. This is a kind of a controversial topic which I won't go into more detail right now. Right now. Um, one way to look at like writing simple code is that you should look at it like you design user interfaces. Because uh, when you design a user interface, you want it to be as simple as possible, but not simpler, of course. Um, so if you think about the users of your code, which are the other developers or you, you in the future, uh, then you uh, naturally try to, try to simplify things. 
But when you do write code, uh, don't, don't be afraid, uh, afraid to write it, but then always justify it, because uh, in, 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 in it, every individual situation, so every situation is, is different. Um, the kind of the plugins that you can use are different for, for different tasks. Uh, your skill level obviously differs, so you might understand parts of WordPress better than others, or you are maybe just uh, learning, you don't know much PHP, for example. Uh, your team skill level uh, could be different. Um, so make an informed decision instead of always making a decision of uh, I only use plugins or I only write code. That doesn't make sense. One last thing is that I now might have an idea like what, how to write uh, or develop for WordPress. Uh, but what is WordPress really? It's it's not a static thing. It's actually evolving. The WordPress itself, the ecosystem around it. Um, uh, for example, now we have the Gutenberg that might come next year, especially if the, the plans to use that for layout uh, come to a reality. Um, then the idea of how good WordPress development works might be a bit different or a lot different. So we need to keep an eye on those and, and not fixate on, on things how, how it should be done. Uh, you are, in a way, wrong audience for this talk. You probably don't hate WordPress. You're here to learn about it. Uh, you have a kind of a growth mindset, I would say. But since you are curious about WordPress, I encourage you to learn more about WordPress and then spread the message of WordPress and how awesome it is. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saki. Uh, do we have any comment or question from the floor? OK, so I just guess that they are um, they, they agree with you totally, and that's why they are silent, right? Must be. <laughs> that's good. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you.